coach? What have you kind of learned about your group through week 10? Um, okay. You know what? I learned a lot. It's uh, oh, three weeks into camp and then a couple weeks before then. Um, it's a tremendous group of young men. Um, smart, hardworking. Um, they care a ton about Notre Dame. They care a ton about being an old lineman at Notre Dame. And they care a ton about each other. You know, and I think and that's, that is a great foundation on which to, to work from. Um, they, they take a lot of pride in the fact that you know that, that the O-line is a feature here. You know, it's 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 a, it's a big deal, and they take a lot of pride in it. And at the same time, they take a ton of responsibility in in, in that pride. You know, they so I appreciate that about them, and um, and they're working their tails off, so it's fun. And then the guard battle, I guess. What have you kind of seen from those guys? And ideally, obviously, it's early, but when do you want to have an idea of? those two starting spots? I think you want to have a pretty good idea moving out of spring, you know, and some things in spring you can't always do everything you want to do to uh, to get guys at spots because a lot of people are repping, but I think it's been a really good battle, and um, I think there's a number of guys that have identified them as possibly being ready to play and step into that role, and so now as you work through the summer and in the fall camp, now you need to get the guys next to each other that are that you feel are the best matches and the best chance for us to be the best on the field together. And then I believe we saw Coogan working at guard too. Yeah. I guess one of well, his spring kind of He's done a really good job ball. kind of working at guard. I, I think um, I think him and Billy have had a, had a good battle over there, but I also know Tosh is someone that can move in and, and uh, play guard in a heartbeat. Um, but I think, I think playing guard really kind of freed Pad up a little bit. I could see his footwork really blend, and I think it's a more natural position for him. But he absolutely can play center and battle for us, and that gave us an opportunity to move Ashton in and get him a few more reps at center. And I think Ashton's done a heck of a job there. You know, I think he's he, he's a young man that's you know in his first spring. You know, some guys are eyes are so big first spring, like we're doing football again. You know, they're like yeah, we are. And, um, and he's really kind of handled that well and had a lot of growth of himself where he's earned his own confidence to a, to a great extent. At the right side, again, man, there's been, there's been a really good battle. You know, Andrew's been playing really hard and, and detailing his work up. And then Rocco probably has had the best two days he's had these last two days. So you're really starting to see him come on. And, and yet, yet I know Emil's a guy that might be one of those five best guys. So I think, I think there's a lot of competition. And um, I think that's it. That's what I'm trying to learn from the spring is who has the composure to be their best in the moment. You know what I mean? Like who can be their best in the moment? Because in the game, you know, as good as you look in a practice or on a rep, or you got to be able to execute in the right way at the right time in the heat of the moment. And that's, that's really what we're growing towards is finding that group. Joe, two-part question. Have you had the opportunity to impart your personality into the offensive line, and what have they really grasped from you and really taken to? Um, I think, um, I think that, that, that it's a good question because um, I think that's two-part. One, you have a ton of respect for what they know and what they've worked on and, and what they've done, and they've had great coaching. Um, so you, as a coach, I think if you're doing it right, you absorb as much as you can from that, and you apply as much as you can to that into your teaching. Um, Because I think the main thing is, is again, you want them to be the best they can be. And then I think as we've gone along and got more comfortable, um, we've had some opportunities to detail some things up that I think could kind of add to that and help. And and they've been really good with it. You know know what I mean? They've they've really worked through it and embraced it. And um, it's fun. They are that type of group. You know what I mean? They are are pleasers at heart and and they want to be difference makers. So, I, I, I like them. Like I, I think they'll have a chip, and I think they'll play that way. And I think when you find out exactly who's next year and how you're rolling, I think that type of chip develops. Having guys like uh, Blake Fisher and Joel kind of looking in the line, have they been as advertised to you so far, or how have they been? Yeah, they, they are. They're, they're tremendous athletes. They play tremendously smart. Um, they care a ton. So it, you know, like when you look at the full picture, like does someone have the ability to do it? Does somebody have the ability to do it physically? Do they have the ability to do it mentally? Um, do they have the ability to do it in the moment, physically and mentally? And then do they care enough to do it consistently again and again and again and again? And if you add in leadership to all that, that's, 
that's that's a pretty good bang for your buck. And those two guys, they, they have that in them, and they, they bring that to the group. And obviously, you no know, affront to you, but the coaching's change is always a little bit tough. How have the guys buy him in so far? I think it's been awesome. It is tough. You know what I mean? It's tough when there's different words. It's tough when there's different communication. And all of it's tough. And the part of it is, is how do you help make it as comfortable as possible and still grind your tail off to be the best you can be? That's 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 what you're working through this spring. And you're cleaning up a lot of things, and you got a great plan, and you, you're ready to move forward every single day you possibly can to, to get closer to your best. Coach, what have these guys, you talked about the previous coaching experience that they learned. What have you allowed them to keep, I guess, and to keep it in their bag and uh, put your transition over to their bag? Yeah, as much as possible. That's kind of been the goal. Like, if I see something done well and, I, and, I, and I'm in it, I'm, I'm staying with it. I'm learning it. How do you talk to that? How do you say that? How do we do that? And because I want things to be familiar with them and be confident. And then if I see something that I feel like could be better or could be fixed, that's where I, that's where I input it. That's what I work through. Um, you know, I, I, I just, I think there are certain details you can bring to every play, you know what I mean? An eye discipline, an eye progression, a, uh, you know, your ability to find your fits in both your landmarks for your helmet and your hands, your footwork. So some of the things are more specific to that, but, but you try to keep as much familiar with them, especially things that are working well for them. Last question. About the Last question. question. You talked about the leadership um, that they've exemplified out there. But we obviously, we think from our perspective, it could be like Fisher or you know, Joe Off. What have you seen from your perspective on who's the leader? Well, I, I think those two uh, do an exceptional job. I think Zeke does an exceptional job. I think um, he's really shown a ton of growth. He's really worked through some things that I think will help him to take a step. And um, he's been really fun. I think he takes a lot of pride in this group, and he's definitely one that brings leadership every day, not only with how he works and how he how he communicates, but also how he helps others around him. Awesome. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks. 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 Well, I guess first question for you. Um, how do you think you've grown mentally this spring um, with the new position coach and um, just kind of taking on the challenge that he presents? Yeah, I'm a fifth year now. I'm the old guy in the group. Um, I've taken the leadership role. I know I have to help lead the guys, help make sure everyone's on the same page, especially being the center. Uh, I think I've grown, especially mentally, just get a greater understanding of what's going on around me, uh, understanding like coverages, understanding how our team's lining up, um, seeing blitz, stuff like that. That Coach Rudolph's helped us uh, take a, the next step in making sure we do that. And I think moving forward, uh, one thing we just got to keep improving on is making sure we're working together at all times. And then how would you describe Coach, what he's brought to the position unit in um, kind of your first impressions working within this group? Yeah, uh, he has helped us a lot. Um, I think we put a greater emphasis on being able to get into our sets, our pass sets, uh, and like working on our sets, we gotta make sure that we're, we're staying on the same level, working together. Um, but we've been around the facility a lot, and so has he, uh, just you know, stepping into a new program like this, especially Notre Dame, like we're known for our offensive line. Um, you know, it's not an easy thing to do, and he's done a great job stepping in and making sure he's, he's a, a leader for us so we can look to him. And he's been he's done a great job at you know making sure that we're staying together through this. Coach also mentioned, like you said, your leadership this spring. What allows you to step into that role that maybe you probably didn't have last year? Yeah, um, I think with experience comes respect. Uh, you get more respect from your teammates and others when you get more of that experience. And I think also being the center, like I'm the second in command behind the quarterback. I got to know everything that's going on. Got to make sure we're all on the same page, um, and you know when when you have to do that, then you have to make sure that you know what's going on around you at all times. So, I think uh, that and just the level of my play has kept improving. I think that also uh, you know gets trust from your teammates, and that's what we need. So, Joe also mentioned that I asked him rather you know about having that previous coach coach he's been and now transitioning into him. How have you been able to? Take what he stands on to as well as well as kind of transitioning into Joe and what he's teaching you guys. Yeah, well, I, I get the best of both worlds, so I definitely can't complain about anything. Uh, coach he stands obviously a great coach. Um, just being able to learn from both of them, and then now Coach Coach Rudolph's here and being able to pick his brain a little bit. Um, now I have a whole lot of tools in my arsenal to be able to use, um, and yeah, just like understanding the Notre Dame offensive line, what it's all about. It's about playing together. And that's that's been awesome for us. So.
Zeke, is it too early to come up with an identity for this year's offensive line? And if I not, think so. What, what is that identity? I think it's a little too early. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but I definitely say that for us right now, you know, like I've, I keep saying, like we just gotta focus on how we can work at the same speed, work together. Um, maybe I'll get maybe I'll get back to you on that. Give you a little little one word zinger for you, but. I don't have one yet. And I'm interested in the communication with uh, the offensive backs and the quarterback as well. What are you learning from them that you can impart with your teammates on the offensive line to become better? Yeah, um, I think formations, knowing the formation, uh, understanding where the tight ends are lining up, understanding where the receivers are lining up, uh, understanding what coverage the defense is in, stuff like that, where you can talk to your quarterbacks that see it all the time. It's kind of hard to see inside there. Um, but understanding that it's a little more advanced football, uh, that definitely helps you pick up blitzes, uh, ID fronts better, maybe push it outside one more to the next linebacker versus pushing it inside one. Um, stuff like that, that will definitely help our offense take the next step in making sure we succeed and execute every play and give the play the best chance possible. And is the Cincinnati guy Skyline or Gold Star? Skyline. Next question. I'm, I'm going home for my brother's wedding uh, tomorrow after practice, so I definitely have to make a skyline run in the morning. <laughs> What's it been like for you working with two new guards after Jake Patton and Josh kind of left? Yeah, um, definitely been a, a change. It, it goes from really experienced players that play a lot of ball to some new guys that haven't played as much football. Um, for us, I'll keep saying it, our identity's been about working together and making sure that we hone in, really hone in on our technique. Like spring is an awesome opportunity to be able to just keep improving on your technique and understanding your assignment, uh, how that affects the play, stuff like that. Where these new guards like might not have as much experience with that and they're getting to experience it with us right now. Um, and they've done a great job stepping in there and taking advantage of the opportunity. Uh, we just gotta make sure we keep working at it. Can we get one more? Coach mentioned Coogan's working at guard a little bit. Mm -hmm. You kind of were in that role playing cross training. What's kind of the challenges of that? Yeah, it's tough not knowing where you're going to end up at. Um, you want everything to be concrete as a player, but it's not always going to be that way. And you just got to suck it up. Um, Pat's done a great job stepping in at guard. He, I think he feels comfortable there. Uh, he's shown great signs of improvement too, like throughout the spring. Um, he was playing center and they moved him to the guard, he didn't bat an eye. And that's just a testament to the type of guy he is. He's willing to do whatever it takes, uh, get out there. And, you know, like Coogan's done a great job stepping in at guard and making sure the center and tackle next to him, they're all playing together. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not an easy thing to do, not knowing where you're going to play at, but you just got to make sure you take every single day as an opportunity and take advantage of it. Thank you, Z. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Joe, what's it like to have a new coach come in after you've been here a couple of years. What's the mindset? How do you adapt? Yeah, no, it's been, it's always great. You know, you just get to learn that much more and get a new um, coaching style and what they prefer. And I think you just get to learn that much more about the game and you get to learn, just add more and more tools and, you know, techniques and things you learn to use in your game. And I think it's been, you know, a lot of fun. Uh, coach Real has been a great change for us and it's been a good, good time. What's the biggest thing you've taken away from him so far? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is just being able to be, use, Use what you see and be able to, you know, necessarily um, use different techniques and things you see when you have different alignments. You know, you can change things up and just, you know, it's been a lot similar. It's been very similar to Coach Eastan and the way we run in the past, but you can just see a couple different things and, and you know, you can build on that. Joe, I guess how have you grown this spring um, on the mental side of things, um, kind of taking in everything on the field, but also um, off the field? Yeah, I think for me, you know, off the field, it's always school. It's always a challenge, you know, focusing on that and making sure you can do both school and football. But uh, on the field, just, you know, lost two really great leaders in Josh Lincoln and Jared Patterson last year. So mentally just trying to kind of keep the group strong and be a leader and be a, be a helpful force to help everyone. The new guys getting more playing time and helping them grow. So just being strong, being confident in what I know, and then allowing that to kind of help the other guys to be confident with the calls on the field so they can be confident in what they're doing. And then now being a junior, how comfortable do you feel um, in your leadership position um, kind of as the guy they look up to in the position? Yeah, for me, that's definitely, like I said, that's a, you know, a new thing for me, so I'm just trying to grow on that each and every day. But uh, I like that role. I like being a leader. So I um, feel comfortable in it, just trying to kind of grow each and every day and be someone who can be relied on both on the field and off the field. And then how would you describe your leadership style? Yeah, I would say I'm definitely more of a 
not so much of a voice, but more just like kind of a guy who's just gonna show on the field. I just have to work hard and uh, kind of let my actions speak for themselves. And uh, if I have to, I'll be you know vocal if I have to, but I kind of just like try to let my um, my actions speak. Uh, kind of a point to that. Uh, how have the new guy, or the younger guys, taken to that those actions that you showed? And then the other part of the question is, without Jared and Josh, you know, how's the chemistry with the new guys? Yeah, just start with the first part. I think the chemistry hasn't changed. I think the offensive line here has always been, you know, a brotherhood and, you know, a family. That's what I always say. Like, it's my family away from home. You know, I come here and I can trust each and every one of those guys and they have my back and on and off the field, and I know that. And, uh, yeah, just that brotherhood's been great. And, uh, yeah. Anything else for Joe? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Zeke mentioned about playing together, and mm -hmm. a lot of his answers came back to playing together as a unit on the O-line. I was wondering what that looks like to you guys. How does that manifest and show itself? Is it just an X's and O's thing, or is that kind of all the things? I think playing together starts off the field, you know, just with the brotherhood and, you know, the trust you build off the field, and then that translates onto the field because you can have trust. And, you know, playing together means on the field, everyone knows we're on the same page. Everyone sees the same front, sees the same pressure. We know how we're going to block it. We work together. And I think that's built off the field, especially in the film room. And just the, the trust and the commitment to growing together as a group and putting in the extra time allows us to be that much more confident on the field. And I think when you see us playing confident and trusting one another and playing together, you know, it's it's our best best game. And has that been a greater point of emphasis now with Coach Rudolph in here, or is that something that he's staying emphasized as well? I think that's been something since I showed up here. It's always been about, you know, together and the group and how we're going to, um, you know, be the best as we can be it together, and that's always been the main focus ever since I set foot on this campus. And I think that's something that's been built in the O-line tradition here. Awesome, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Blake, the offensive line has always been close, but what's kind of allowed you guys to maintain that chemistry with three coaches in three years? Yeah, uh, I mean, there's a standard that's been set here, so uh, the togetherness that we have as a group doesn't really change. I would say, um, you know, I came in, you know, I had older guys that took me under their wing show me the standards and kind of let me know, um, you know, what that looked like. Um, so with that standard being said, it's just about us applying it to, you know, what we do every day, um, you know, and, and the standard doesn't change. So, um, you know, if that's, you know, eating together, um, walking out to practice together, uh, walking to class together, some of us, not all of us, uh, uh, you know, hanging out outside of football. Um, it's just about standing together through adversity. Um, you know, we, we're the ones that see each other the most. We're with each other. It's our position group. So. Um, it's not too hard for us to stay strong in those moments because, you know, we have a lot of love for each other, true love. And then what's it been like for you trying to improve your game but also kind of working with the new guard next to you? Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, it's just you just, you know, fall back to the basics, um, you know, what you do every day. Um, and it's just a lot of, you know, extra work that you do off the field, you know, after practice, before practice, um, and those days that you don't even want to come in. So, um, you know, it's not it's not too hard because um, I mean you know Andrew you know he has you know what he's supposed to do and then what I'm supposed to do is just getting on the you know same page as far as you know um, double team blocks whether that's pass protection it's just you know making sure that we communicate you know at the same time to make sure that we're playing together. Like what are your personal goals going into the season? Yeah, uh, I mean number one just you know being the best teammate you know that I can be um, for those around me. Um, you know, number two, um, just dominating on you know every level of the game, and then three, you know, to win a Joe Moore Award, and then four, you know, win a national championship. And what excites you about this particular offensive line this year? Yeah, um, say that again. Say that again. What's your what question? excites you? What, what what makes this offensive line unique this year? Uh, I mean, I would say we're you know dynamic. Um, you know, we have a lot of you know explosive players that can come off the ball. Uh, you know, a lot of, you know, agile players. Um, and then, I mean, obviously the number one uh, ultimate goal is just playing together. And I feel like we have a lot of guys that can play together. It's just about finding, you know, the right ones, you know, to go out there day one. What's the transition been like for you from previous years? I know you kind of talked to it earlier, but what's the transition like from that and losing the older guys? Yeah. Um, you know, it's not too bad. You know, we have some of the older guys around and I mean, they're always one call away. If you ever need help, you know, I talk to Jared, I talk to Lug a lot. Um, you know, this is about everything that's going on um, and, you know, just picking their brains on, you know, what they did in certain situations. Um, but, you know, now kind of, you know, me, Zeke and Joe taking over the group, um, you know, it's been great because uh, we have, we've had a great foundation laid for us, you know, previously um, and something to fall back on, you know, when everything or when something goes wrong.
Well, like, how have you tried to take the next step as a leader um, with this position unit? Yeah, uh, you know, just being more vocal, um, you know, helping others, you know, you know, if I'm going in to watch extra film, you know, telling, you know, like a young guy or, you know, like a meal, um, you know, he plays, you know, the same position as me, you know, let's, you know, let's go watch film together, you know, get extra work um, after practice, you know, with the young guys um, and just trying to stay as calm as possible, um, you know, when um, stuff hits, hits the fan because uh, if you're kind of anxious and everybody's kind of anxious, but if you stay calm, um, the boat will, you know, sail. And then on the mental side of things, how, how do you think um, you've grown this spring um, in the film room and um, just kind of mentally um, outside the game of football? Yeah, uh, I mean, I feel like I've grown a lot. Um, I've been through a lot of adversity, so, um, you know, kind of when adversity hits now, it's just, you know, going back to, you know, what I did in those times when adversity hit before. Um, but now, you know, I feel, you know, immensely a, a lot stronger than, you know, I ever have, you know, before. Um, you know, just excited about the opportunity, you know, that's in front of us. Um, Finishing spring ball and school up, um, and just continue to get better. Last question for Blake. Coach mentioned that you guys, he wants guys that can execute in the tough moments under pressure. How do you guys prepare for such a unpredictable type of scenario? You know, what's that yeah, like? Yeah, I mean, it's just coming out every day and just you know doing what we do best. Um, you know, in, in those moments where there's nothing else that you want more, you do it in practice every day, and it's just being honed in and locked in on on that moment, um, blocking out all those dis other distractions. Because um, when it's time to go, it's time to go, and Third and ten, you know, and, and, and at Clemson, you know, just locked in on that moment, you know, nothing else. Um, everything will be all right. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Blake. Thanks, Blake.